Advanced marine propulsion. Is it really advanced? Hello everybody, I am Nick the Naval Architect, and today I'm going to be reacting to a video that highlights some advanced marine propulsion systems. As always, the purpose is not to criticize these videos, but to show the technical perspective and technical reactions to what is usually a vendor sales pitch. So let's get into this and see what we can discover. Water jet propulsion. Our water jets are the most efficient on the market. Okay, this is from Konsberg Maritime. Quite a few years ago, they bought out Rolls-Royce. These are the Kamawa water jets from Rolls-Royce, now Konsberg Maritime. These water jets are targeted at larger commercial vessels and military applications. These are the types of things where the impeller is going to be as large as you are. So expect some big technology here. Good. This is a result of decades of experience and a strong focus on research and development that enables us to deliver durable, lightweight jets optimized for individual applications in the range of up to 40 megawatts. Did you hear that? 40, four zero megawatts. That's insane. That much power going through one water jet? That is a very, very large water jet. Uh, most applications will be smaller than that. The other thing they emphasized there was lightweight. Uh, as you get to these larger and larger vessels, it becomes incredibly critical to minimize the weight of the vessel. And so minimizing the water jet is a really important thing there as well. Keeping that weight down helps the vessel perform better and improves its overall fuel efficiency. Our steel and aluminium series of water jets offer superior performance and produce less vibration and noise compared to conventional propellants. Imp Did you hear how they said they have steel and aluminium? That's another thing. Water jets are not like propellers. They don't come in every shape and size because they're much more complex to manufacture. So it's very often that you'll have limited availability of water jets and you may end up designing the rest of your hull based around a single water jet that you want to use. Konsberg having both steel and aluminium is a real bonus because that gives me freedom as a designer to pick either steel or aluminium for my hull material. That kind of flexibility is really nice when we're looking at commercial design. Moving passenger comfort. At speeds of over 20 knots. That right there is an example of a mixed flow impeller. You can tell because of the expanding cone at the hub. Vibration and noise can be reduced by more than 50%. The compact reversing bucket and steering nozzle enable superior position keeping and maneuverability at both low and high speeds. Hydraulic systems for steering are placed inboard to reduce the risk of oil spills. All our water jets are delivered with compact state-of-the-art control systems. One of the key features is stay-on-the-spot automatic maneuvering, which controls the jets to keep the vessel at a desired point. Stay-on-the-spot automatic maneuvering. So one question there is about systems integration. If it's going to stay on the spot, it needs to know its GPS coordinates. Does the water jet system come with its own GPS receiver, or are we picking up data from the ship's network of instruments? And then the, the question becomes there, checking on that compatibility. Most of these systems are designed that you can always find a way to connect them together, but it's always a question that comes to my mind when I hear about those types of capabilities, making sure that all the electronics play happily together. The operator interface can be console or chair mounted to suit the customer's preference. Our series of smaller aluminium water jets are normally supplied as skid mount self-contained units ready for rapid installation. Tailor-made inlets can be provided to meet particular requirements. The impeller sh Skid mounted units are really useful if you have a shipyard that may not want to do that precise manufacturing. Shipyards are generally focused on larger machining tolerances, less precision, more bulk construction. And so they may not have the capabilities to efficiently produce 
parts of that water jet with very fine machined tolerances. So that's really nice if they can just get that straight from Konsberg as their supplier and all they have to do is provide a rough cut opening that the water jet slides into. Aft and reversing rods are made of stainless steel. Typical applications for aluminium jets are smaller passenger vessels, rescue craft, smaller naval craft, and wind farm support vessels. Our module-based series of steel water jets are designed to be easy to install in hulls constructed from different materials. The owner of the yard can choose from three different delivery concepts to suit their building method and installation sequence. These concepts are complete skid mounted, jet and inlet delivered separately, or jet together with drawings for the yard to build the inlet dock themselves. This goes back to how I was talking that some shipyards may not have the capacity or want to build those fine precision machined parts. And that all depends upon the variability. Having that flexibility of that modular system is really nice because you're going to pick your water jet way back in the early design phase. And then several months to a year later, you're going to pick your shipyard who may or may not want to do all the components of the water jet. So this provides you with some added insurance to make sure that you're not suddenly trying to pick a whole new water jet supplier at the 11th hour. The inlet duct can be delivered in steel, aluminium, or composite. In all cases, the pump, which forms the outboard unit, will be in stainless steel. Our steel series is typically suitable for large passenger ferries, naval vessels, coast guard vessels, and super yachts. And that was Konsberg. So again, notice how that they're emphasizing the manufacturing capabilities and they're not talking about the performance of the water jet. No mention about the efficiency of it or targeted um, speeds. Again, part of that is due to the fact that those performance metrics, those efficiency metrics, they all depend on the interaction between the water jet and the ship itself. So they can't give it as a generalized number but it's still the very first question that I would ask a sales rep if I was talking to Konsberg. You, you need an edge, something to help your ship do more. DMS focuses on engineering solutions that will enable a small business to differentiate itself. So check out the website and learn how we can make your ship stand out from the crowd. Let's do something amazing. Thanks very much.